Let's make history. Welcome to episode 27 of Team Wayne News. We are on our way to episode 28th. And you know that's a special episode because the 28th is Jackson's birthday. But not of this month, but of March. But you get what I'm saying, right? A whole lot has happened. So Got Seven's comeback for Not By The Moon happened, of course, right? So many things have happened. So many videos have been released. Performances. They've been promoting on radio stations. They've been doing a lot of, lot of different things for not by the moon and i'm truly truly just so proud like today was the last day of promotions and this era not this era but this comeback has been really special for me personally and i'm just so proud of the boys and i'm just so grateful for them and i feel so blessed to have them in my lives um they make my life so much better they bring so much joy so much happiness and i'm really really just so grateful for them i love them with all my heart with all my heart um they'll always have a place in my heart no matter what and i really believe that and i just love them really i just truly do this comeback has just been amazing and i'm just so happy from the success of this comeback I wish we could have won more times, but it's okay. Um, I know a lot of us have worked hard and we've done our best and that's all we can do. Of course, GOT7 works so hard no matter what and they just inspire me as a whole. Um, I just love them. Um, try not to get too emotional, but this comeback has been really special. Really, really special. <laughs> Okay, so before we jump into all the news, of course, we know that got Seven's Die album dropped and everything, streaming it on my phone and everything, you know, on Spotify, the music video, you know, everything, iTunes. I was scared that I wouldn't get them in my actual physical copies, so I ordered, of course, Jackson's bookmark. Um, I did an unboxing to this, but in case you haven't seen it, I want to show you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> mirror mirror on the back he's just so beautiful right and then the lyric card this is what I really really wanted so badly and I have it and I'm so blessed I feel blessed it's so pretty look at him he's just so beautiful God did such a marvelous job on this man I love it anyway so I know I didn't do an episode last week so I have a lot to catch up on and of course I'm not going to be able to cover everything because so much has happened God 7 has been doing so many things Jackson has been doing so many things we all know that he stays busy all the time he never gets a break so he has been posting on his social media which i enjoy all the time it always brings a smile to my face um the week before last was jackson's mom's birthday if you don't know her her name's sophia she's such a sweet lady i don't know her personally but i just know she's sweet i mean she's jackson's mom so i guess that's where he gets it from right his dad is cool as well so he posted for her birthday and she also posted for her birthday as well and it was just so beautiful um she was just thanking her sons for all the things they did for her birthday and oh my goodness i was just so shook when i saw her walls like going up the stairway are photos of jackson throughout his career and it's so beautiful and i was just so touched jackson's parents are just so proud of him like so Got7 has done um, more promotions this time for their comeback. So they went on Weekly Idol. Um, they actually did like a 2020 version of Girls, 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 which was really cool. Um, Jackson and JB did like some cutesy stuff. <laughs> Ah, 
Oh, 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 my goodness. But um, they've been on like a lot of shows, like the Koto show. Radio. Um, I hope I got the pronunciations right of all that. Um, I know I'm leaving out things because they've done so many things. Like I said, oh my goodness. Um, they've done performances of Aura. <laughs> They've done performances of Not By The Moon, of course. Poison, like Jackson, looked so good, especially during the Poison performances. He's just really feeling it, and just his expressions, and just how he carries himself when he performs and dances and sings or raps is just so attractive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, and also with Not By The Moon, he looked good as well. Man, he looks good all the time. <laughs> when they wore those pink outfits. Oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> Ways music video hit 21 million views and also oxygen has hit 11 million views as well it should really be up there though oxygen is one of my favorite songs that jackson's released i mean i always say that about all his songs because i love all of them well, on his instagram he posted this photo of him getting his makeup done and he's talking about how he'll work harder and stuff like i don't know why jackson always says he'll work harder like he can't work any harder than he already works. Um, and then he posted on his Instagram and his Twitter as well. Like the process of him getting his makeup done and everything. Like he doesn't need it. But anyway, he looks so good. Like I love him. Not because he looks good, but still he looks good. Like there's no denying. Anyway, I actually made a post about Jackson recently. I mean, I make a post about him all the time, right? But I really want to read this one because it was really special to me, even though it's something that I said myself. But anyway, this is what I said a few days ago. Well, April 25th, that's not a few days ago. I said, I know I drool over Jackson a lot because he's the finest man alive. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate all the other many qualities he has. Like his faith in God. So attractive. <laughs> his talent. His kindness, humbleness, passion, his thoughtfulness, his charisma, his wisdom, his love, his worth ethics, and how family oriented he is. He's just such a special man. Like God really just did such a marvelous job with this man. I know I boast about him a lot and brag about how wonderful he is, but they're all true statements, so I just can't help it. And I really want him to know that, cause he is such a special person, and I don't want him to ever, ever forget that. Cause he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I like my phone case. I love it. Um, But yeah, also posted on his Weibo, of course. So on media-based pop panels, Jackson's 100 Ways hit number 50, and this is just amazing. It's in this category with songs like Savage, and he was on KBS Radio with Got7. He had this cute little fluffy hat and everything. <laughs> All right, so Got7 won their first win for Not By The Moon on Show Champion. <laughs> Then the next day they won on M Countdown and it was just so hype and so energetic. I just love them. I love them. 
아, 네. 일단 저희 사드리고요 그리고 우리 아가새 분들 못 빼서 너무 아쉬운데 이렇게 큰 상가에 주셔서 진심으로 너무 감사하고 얼른 빨리 보고 싶어요. 그렇다면 과연 1위의 주인공은? 네, 갓세븐 라파이 남은 축하드립니다. 소감 부탁드릴게요. 축하드립니다. 아, 감사합니다. 네, 유경 씨 소감 And they was just so cute doing the heart and everything. And they were just so thankful and grateful. Like, I love God 7. And then today is the last day that they were actually nominated. I thought they were really going to win, but they didn't win. But it's okay. To me, they'll always be winners. They'll always be number one in my eyes. So they have been doing a lot of V lives this week and everything. Because, you know, they can't actually physically be with fans. So they've been doing a lot of these things. So each member has done voice V lives and they've also done like group V lives as well, you know, just talking about different things and the memories. Like I haven't caught up on everything the last two weeks. They have done so many things, so I am a little behind, so I gotta catch up. Um, but I'm just so proud of the radio station Hot 100 had like a submission of questions that you could submit to Jackson if you want to ask. Use the hashtag Hot 100 Ask Jackson, and we had a few days to put our questions in. Um, I don't think he's answered them yet, but he's gonna be answering them sometime this weekend or early this week. So stay tuned, guys. He's gonna be DMing people his answers. So that's a really really exciting and it's gonna be five blessed winners like oh my goodness imagine jackson in your dms <laughs> i imagine that every day of my life <laughs> um jackson actually got to call one of the russo brothers and they was talking about iron man and everything and jackson was just so excited it was so cute um, cause you guys know he loves Iron Man and everything, but one of the main questions he asked is like, is there gonna be another Iron Man movie? Like, is Iron Man coming back? Um, but it seems like he's not gonna be coming back, but there could be like a prequel. More. Like, my favorite character is Iron Man, right? Yeah, and, everybody's um, favorite, man. Yes, I just wanna know, is there, is there like a teeny tiny percent of a chance that he might come back and actually Thanks. iron man is my favorite marvel superhero as well even before i knew who jackson was iron man has been my favorite so i think that's so cool we have a lot in common <laughs> So Bam Bam's birthday was over the weekend and Jackson posted him happy birthday and everything. And they were actually all together on Bam Bam's birthday. It was so cute. Jackson had on this hat. He was so cute. Y'all see him? He's so cute. We all know that GOT7 actually can't meet with fans and everything. So one of the things that they did is that you could actually buy an album from certain websites. Anyway. And you would be entered into a drawing to have a phone call with Jackson or one of the other members. But like a video call and you would just talk with him for like two minutes and stuff so i've been seeing cute little videos and stories everywhere everyone's experiences are so cute jackson is just such a wonderful man oh my so god jackson will be a part of an online charity event it's called believe in the future and it's going to be like a concert and jackson will be performing i'm not sure of the actual date sure you follow oh. me because i always post about everything related to jackson <laughs> I can't help it. I love him. Earlier today, he posted on his story that he was eating salad. So today was goodbye to the moon V Live. So got Seven's last day of promos, right? So anyway, they celebrated the end and everything. And they had fried chicken and other goodies as well. And Jackson was tearing up that chicken. Y'all hear me? He was tearing up that chicken. He was like just enjoying it and grubbing. Like he made me hungry early this morning when I saw it at like 5 a.m. this morning. <laughs> He was eating chicken and I wanted chicken too. Wait, so today was their last stage on Inky Gallo. Um, they did amazing. Like I said, I really, really thought Got7 was going to win. Because I screen recorded it and everything. And then I saw somebody else win. And I was like, that's not Got7. 
but okay congrats to them wait guy seven has really done amazing this comeback um and i'm super super proud um jackson's new album will be coming out sometime this year and of course he will be releasing team wang the brand really really soon um excited about it um everyone has been so hyped about it and everything there have actually been some things going on um you know people like to start trouble um but i don't want to get into too many details about it but just focus on what makes you happy don't try to bring down other people when they're happy and what makes them happy that's all i'm going to say about that so of course got seven has been promoting for their comeback and everything so when they leave whatever schedule they have for that day of course fans are outside waiting and recording them and taking pictures and everything which is cool i understand that but what was going on with this pandemic and everything and the virus um just because you may not have it um, you still need to like be safe like wear a mask practice social distancing and even if it wasn't because of this virus why would you want to be this close to somebody and invade their personal space I don't want to call anyone out or anything but I've noticed not just with Jackson but with all the boys people are so close to them like give them some room let them breathe I mean I know you're excited and you want to see them and you want to get a good video or a good picture but please please think about them and how they feel and you're invading their personal space and things like that and Jackson's like a sweetheart so he's not going to say anything but I really want to say something about it like that one video that I saw why are you that close to him like I mean, it's a dream to be close to Jackson, but not like that, you know? Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a little heated because I just don't like that. And Jackson hasn't been wearing a mask, which I know the virus has calmed down a lot over there in Korea and over in China and stuff. Um, but Jackson, if you're watching this, please wear a mask if you're going to be out and about because you don't know what these folks got. And I don't want you to get sick. Um, no offense to anyone out there in the world, um, but I don't want nothing to happen to Jackson. Um, he hasn't got sick in a long time, and I don't want him to get any type of sickness. So fall back, fall back, okay? Got to get a little ratchet sometimes. Can't be sweet and kind all the time. Y'all got to hold it back. So that concludes this episode of Team Wayne News. <laughs> Wayne, Team Wayne, God day. Let's make history.